another dawn, another day. It's about a 1,500 foot climb to get in here, which is good. That's probably why the bucks are up here. I couldn't see them last night glassing from the valley, but maybe I'll find them today. I just got totally lucky. I'm kind of lost in here because all I've done is scout it once and don't really know where I'm going. <clears throat> I went walking out on this ridge, sort of skylined, and was going to walk across it and decided, well, I probably better look around. And something caught my eye, and right down here, about 300 yards, is a big herd of bucks. And I just about walked out on this open hillside. That would have just blown them out of here. They're kind of where I can't see them very well, so there might not be any good ones in there, but I can see antlers, so I'll get up here where I can get the spot and scope down in there and see if uh, that good buck's in there. There's 12 bucks down there. Not a shooter in the bunch. Even though I'm hunting all this low, deserty type stuff, You'll notice where the bucks are. They're always still in the four foot to six foot brush. They don't run around out in this stubby stuff. They still like to be in the cover. Makes them a little harder to see, but that's where they go. All right, it's coming up on 10 o'clock. I've hunted all this country. I just found those 12 bucks. I never did find that small non-typical I'd seen last week. I don't know this country very well, so I don't know all the little places to look exactly. And uh, so the, you know, the technique is one I write about in the book called moving in deer country, because that's what you're doing. You're just moving through it quietly as you can and looking for deer. It's it's not just glassing, because you can't really sit anywhere and see much country. Um, it's not tracking, it's not still hunting, it's not ambush hunting, it's just moving around till you find the likely areas. And so that's really what I did, and it worked. I found 12 bucks. I just didn't find that other buck, so he's probably right here somewhere. Um, I did learn the best way to get in here. Boy, I. I wasted two miles coming in because I just didn't know exactly how to get over here and ended up way up the ridge, but that's what's great about bow hunting is you're kind of scouting too, and now I know this area, and if I come back, I know how to get in here and know where to be at daylight. That was kind of the problem at daylight. I, I wasn't anywhere near the deer.